How did it go last night? He went out with a bang, Franco. Oh, that's so messy. Speed and efficiency, that's where it's at. I agree. Not me. I like to take my sweet time, wait until they fall asleep, and use a pillow. So much more romantic. Please, what does romance have to do with it? The results are the same. It's not always what you do, but how you do it. The fortune cookie has spoken. Next we're gonna get the finger pointing at the moon story again. I prefer the point the barrel at the temple story myself. <laughs> Sometimes the gentlest thing in the world overcomes the hardest thing in the world. Confucius is on the loose again. Lao Tzu. Lao what? You read The Art of War. That's Sun Tzu. I've only heard of Lao Chi. Right, and Indiana Jones. Which one? The first one? I'm here to see Franco. Slowly. <laughs> Franco, we finally meet face to face. <laughs> These are your bodyguards? <laughs> hey! You Yakuza or something? Yakuza's Japanese. I'm Chinese. My friend, what you are dealing with is the triad. See, the triads are born from a more honorable system. See, we were established to overthrow the Qing Dynasty and to re-establish the Ming Dynasty, whereas the Yakuza, they were born from the very slums of society. They were all the disgraced people who just band together and decide to, well, let's just wreak havoc on society. Frankly, I don't give a damn. Well, these are the goods. Now, now. Don't you think you should move a little slower around my bodyguards? You wouldn't want them to be getting too excited now, would you? Is he clean? Oh yeah. You're more than 22 hours late. I know, I know, I'm a little late. But that's why I brought you a little something extra here. Those real? You bet your ass. Yes, yes they are. So, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. So, how about that drink? How about that door? Stop ringing around this place. I tell you, this better be good. Somebody's gonna get in here. So. Hello? No. Hey. I'm not interested. I don't need it. I don't have any friends. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come over? I'll make you some dinner. Make you a nice liver. Some fava beans. And a nice Chianti on the side. Now 
Kelsey? Kelsey? What are you doing? You ate the picture. This is not good, little girl. You ate the picture, you ate the target. I don't know who I'm supposed to kill. You know, Anderson, this isn't a bad place for you to start your career in. The town isn't too small, not too big, people are friendly. You'll be fine. It used to be easier in my days. You can always tell who the crooks were, but nowadays you have your DNA and you got your fingerprinting and, you, well, you've got all kinds of stuff that we didn't have, so it'll be easier for you. Oh, just a second call. Damn, the Black Widow struck again. Come on, this way. The Black Widow? All female serial killer, press calls her after the Black Widow spider. You know what that is. Big spider, red markings on the back, female's bigger than the male. And the female kills the male after mating, right? Usually she just seduces her victims and you find them in some hotel room, bullet hole right in the head. What else can you tell me about the Black Widow? It just doesn't make sense. Uh, she leaves no marks, she leaves no calling cards. And the victims just aren't chosen randomly. What makes you think that? Hell, for a long time we've been going after the records of the victims and they're all connected. They're all connected to crime or to some shady business. I swear that uh, somebody's making a profit from it and I don't know who it is. Yeah, number 19. This is number 13. What's up, 13? Hey, you remember that favor that you owe me? Of course. You saved my ass back there. Now's your chance to pay it back. I need another trigger man. I double booked myself for this Saturday and... Saturday? Impossible. Well, there's 150 grand in it for you. Did I hear that right? Yeah. Maybe there is something I can do for you. That's what I thought you'd say. Let's meet in the park at the carousel in one hour. Good. So, what do you think? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I am asking you. I'm looking for some feminine intuition here. All right. I'll tell you what I think. Mrs. Jones was lying through her teeth. Her eyes, her voice, dead giveaway. If she would have told the truth, she would have acted totally differently. I say she's guilty. Let's get her. Come on. Let's bring her in. Wait a minute. We don't have anything to go on. All we're going on is by hearsay. Let's go to the hotel and let's find out if she was there. And how do you propose to do that? Well, we go to the hotel we speak to hotel management, and we see if they have security cameras. Review the tapes, and if we see her on it, we know she lied. Security cameras have never helped me solve a case yet. Most of them aren't even plugged in. They don't work. And I think I've been at this a lot longer. Probably before you were even born. Just a reminder to you, Detective Sullivan, technology has come a long way in the last 45 years. <coughs> That's 32 years for you, young lady. All right, 32. But you know what? This is your lucky day. I'll go along with it. Let's go to the hotel, see if the security cameras are even plugged in. We'll review them. 
And if there's a person that even remotely looks like Mrs. Jones, we're gonna nab her, bring her in. So why don't you finish that green sludge tea or whatever it is that you're drinking and let's get out of here. Hello. <laughs> hey, Franco. Who's this? What, you don't recognize your old friends anymore? Bobby, is that you? Don't tell me to let you back in this country. Yeah, I've been back for a while. Couldn't find you right away. Well, I never expected to hear from you again. How was Venezuela? Wasn't that where you were hiding out? You mean Argentina. Hey, listen. I might be coming up your way in a couple days. I'd like to meet with you. I believe we got a bunch of catching up to do. You and me. Bobby, Bobby, don't tell me you are still sore after all this time. Is it because of Veronica? Or Maria? Or Sylvia? It's your three o'clock massage with Mrs. Yamaguchi. Oh, tell her to set up at the pool. Inside or outside? Uh, inside. All right. It isn't my fault women fall head over heels for me. I can never figure out why. What the hell are you talking about? I was talking about the money. Ah, so that's what this is all about, huh? Money. There was a dozen guys in this organization ready to make fish bait of you. Yeah, pig food, you got it? I had to spend a whole lot of time arguing with the others to convince them not to have you whacked. Now listen up. Here's the last piece of good advice you're gonna get from me. Yo, Franco. I'll see you around. Yeah, pour me one of those two, please. Go ahead. I got a little project for you. Bobby Mancini. as ready as I can be. I've just finished adjusting the fuel injector. Got my rifle sighted in. Don't think you're going to attract a little too much attention in a 1955 vintage truck? You could be a little more discreet. Anyway, if you have to make a getaway in this old clunker, you're going to be in trouble. What are you talking about? Check this out. Small block Chevy, 600 horsepower. 700 R4 transmission. Let me show you this. 10 inch sticky tires here, 12 inch in the back. Do you know how fast I can go in this thing? Top speed, 180 miles per hour. <laughs> With this baby, I can outrun any cop car, including Bond, Batman, and the Dukes of Hazard. Heck, I'll even take on Superman. It's really that powerful, hey, hey, eh? Hey, don't touch. They'll think you're going to attract too much attention. Yeah, so would take a cab while carrying a rifle. Well, I could give you a ride. Honey, if I need a getaway vehicle, no, this no, is no, the ultimate no, machine. no, 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 no. You're not going to need a getaway vehicle. No, this is going to go totally smooth. You're just going to go there and take a long shot, and by the time anyone looks around, you'll be disappeared. 